I'm Lawrence Trent, and welcome to another episode of Work From Home Warriors. Now today what I'll be talking about is a piece of kit that is essential to working from home. Now previously I've talked about the Logitech uh, Meetup, how it allows me to have this kind of a meeting. Um, you can see the entire room, um, but for some people they actually prefer to have a headset because maybe the sound carries, maybe they're not really in a space where they can have uh, a speakerphone. So you've really got, kind of got three choices when it comes to um, uh, headsets that you would use both in the workplace but as well as at home. Now I'm not going to be covering the just the small in-ear um, headsets that you might have or things like um, Apple you know pods whatever they're called. Um, I'm going to be covering uh, enterprise grade uh, voice certified headsets that are used by businesses that work with things like Cisco Jabber, uh, Sky for Business and obviously Microsoft Teams. Now the first one to cover off is the corded headset. Uh, these come with usually a, either a uh, mono or stereo, so by either one or two ears. Um, you can play music through them. Uh, in this particular case, you can actually take it out and plug it into your mobile phone. The challenge with this is you're confined to the length of the cable. So what it means is you are stuck to your desk. You are stuck all of the laptop. You can't get up and really walk around. Depending on how long the call is, getting up and walking around might actually be something you really want to do. So that's a challenge with those, but they're quite um, quite cost effective, uh, and usually you see them in most um, organisations because being a, a lot cheaper and, as said, cost effective, they can be deployed to hundreds and thousands of users. Going up the price range, going into the couple of hundred dollar territory, is we have the cordless headsets. Now these are usually good; they allow you to choose. You know, do you want it on your the boom on your left side? Do you want it on the right side? Um, these are really good in that they can also be paired to mobile phones. So you can actually be tethered to your computer as well as your mobile phone at the same time. So if a call comes through on either, you can answer it. Um, and it effectively means that you can get up and walk around. Me personally, when I like to uh, be on calls, if they're more than just a few minutes, is get up, pace around, as you can see, move my arms, get animated, maybe stretch, jump on the treadmill that happens to be next to me, um, or potentially even go into another room if it's uh, not a video call. Um, or a video call that doesn't require me being in front of it the whole time, because the cordless um, aspect means that I can actually continue on and do things. Now, yes, we talk about not being distracted in meetings, but that's really coming down to um, things like emails um, and, uh, and being distracted by instant messages. For me personally, if I go out of the room to fill up my cup of water, uh, to make a sandwich or grab a snack, or even to put on another load of laundry, these are effectively, from my perspective, mindless behavior. So I can still be in the moment, in the call, uh, in the meeting, and still be present without affecting that. So these generally have a good about 10 meter range. I can answer the door if uh, I happen to get a delivery or whatever it might be. Um, Mute buttons are generally available on the side as a volume controls, so I can quite easily you know, tap out of the meeting but still be part of it if someone else is talking. Um, stepping up a range, you've then got the more premium headsets, and the difference between this um, and the one that I just showed is really the size and the leather of them. So hopefully you can see that. Um, this is basically a, as I said, it's a premium headset. Uh, the leather is softer, um, it's also larger, so it fits on the ear a bit better. The same as the previous headset, I can adjust this to either side so it makes no difference. Pair it to the, my mobile phone. Um, but also this has this uh, bit of springiness so I can adjust it to different head sizes. So realistically, the difference between these three headsets that you might have for home, obviously the price is different. You know, uh, One is gonna be a sub hundred dollars, the other one's going to be uh, two to three hundred dollars. But it ultimately comes down to your comfort level and what you're going to be doing. As I said, this doesn't suit me because I'm sitting at home, I'm on calls, um, and I want to get up and move around, even if it's just around this room, just to keep active. Um, this particular one I, I love, but I use it for shorter engagements because um, I find that the, uh, the firmness of the leather just really doesn't lend itself to being on my ears um, for hours at a time. I can certainly do it for an hour, maybe more, but I probably wouldn't use it to listen to music um, or to, as I said, uh, if the kids are outside and uh, watching a movie, I'm probably not gonna wanna sit with that for a few hours. This is why I have these premium headsets, um, which is just more comfortable, really allows for all day, um, all day access, the battery life on them means that I also don't have to worry about uh, really charging them throughout the day. Um, you can actually get cradles for those um, wireless ones, so we don't have to worry about plugging them into charge at all, just dock them in and away they go. 
So I hope this has been useful in helping you choose which particular headset might suit you. As I said, if you're gonna be working from home a lot, um, as I said before with the Logitech Meetup video, invest in quality equipment. Um, it will really make a difference to your day. So I hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching.